Hi folks, back again. Um, what we want to do now is varnish our bed frame. The centre beam at the road just now. However, we would require varnish, paintbrush, just in case some tubs, and of course something to keep any mistake off the floor it might spill or anything like that but the point here is I'm going to be painting this or varnishing it sorry from inside the frame the reason being similar to if you were painting a kitchen floor you wouldn't start at the door and paint your way into a corner you start at the corner and paint your way towards the door Avoid standing on it and all the rest of it. So the same principle applies here. I'll show you how we do it. In this instance, I must concede this has already been varnished by myself with clear varnish. I like the clear varnish because it gives the, the wood a sort of uh, white gold touch to it. And it doesn't really hide the, the, the wood. I like it that way. You may prefer a, a darker oak varnish or something if you were to varnish it. I just like that. So what I want to do is just use this video as a demonstration of what the, the purpose was. So working from inside I'll start at this here. I'll try, I'm right handed but I'll try and stay so as the camera can see what's going on. <coughs> I won't bother opening it as I say, we've done it, this is a demonstration. So we take our varnish, remember don't overload the brush and starting at the bottom and on the outside we take it up and varnish the outside first, a bit more varnish remember, don't put too much on the brush and same again here. So that's us on the outside, right? The purpose here being, if I've done the inside first, if I've done the inside first, when I leaned over, I could end up sticking to the side I've done, the inside, like a fly to fly paper. Uh, please note, no horses, animals or insects have been harmed in the making of this video. Right. So anyway, I would then do, in this instance, the inside. Right? Varnish it. Clear varnish, but it does give to me a nice touch. There we have it. And again on here. I'll run through it, but I'll run through it quickly so as not to take up your time unnecessarily, just to give you an idea of why I'm doing it this way. Now, that being done, and the brush not too heavy, the headboard, same thing applies. I will now paint, varnish it, starting from outside and starting low down. So, this is how we would go about it. Now remember, I can lean that lie against this because it's not been varnished. So I do the lower one first, all the way along. Right. Remember to take some varnish off the brush. Remember, as I said, to take some varnish off the brush. Just a slight touch here, and uh, to do underneath, okay? That's how we do underneath. So we have now done the back, right? We won't touch here, and we won't touch the top at the moment. 
So what we will do, we will move up to the next one. Next one, the same again. So I'll use the left hand or right hand just to uh, show it. So we're now painting the second one up. As I said, it means we're not sticking to that one because it's not been done yet. So let's go along again. Remember, not too much varnish on the brush. Let's take it along. Now, going up to so you see it, I can lean over and I can lean against the wood, or if I accidentally lean against this wood here, no stickiness, no problems. So we've done the back of that one. So let's do underneath it as well. Varnish, and on we go underneath. Now if I've done, I can, you know, if I was using varnish, this would be a bit slower. I don't want you to get bored to tears, you know. Watching, watching varnish dry. So now we're up, we're doing the top one. Same again. A bit more varnish on the back. Now this way I'm not being against any way of varnish. It's a right handed, I would normally be using this system, like so, being right handed. Now then, that's just underneath, let's make sure, just underneath here. A touch more. Alright, that's dry, that's dry, that's dry. So let's now, again starting at the bottom one, work our way up. So we now paint this one, right? And there we go. And we come and now we drop more varnish. Not too much, don't keep it heavy. I'm speeding up a wee bit just to. Now then, I'll do the top part. And so far, we have cleverly avoided getting stuck to it. So that's the back, underneath, front, and top of that one done. Free from Vanish on ourselves. So let's go again. And along there. And this one. <laughs> now you will find nice steady strokes. And the top. As I said, it's, uh, I just try to do it fast so you don't get it. You get the idea. And finally the top one. So I just stop touching anything. Now when you've done that, unload the brush, take the paint off it and just check in the corners you don't have any runs or curtains as it can be called, sometimes called or along the edges, just let's make sure we don't have anything in the corners See what I mean? Just, that's just where it's kind of, this is where it's inclined to collect so you take, lift off all this, any possible surface, surplus 
stuff, right? <laughs> now at this point may I, may I mention that if you go to my other video, painting wood or watching paint dry, uh, you'll see a demonstration of how to use a paintbrush, which may be to your advantage. I would have bothered to do it different with this, you know. So now I'm going to step out of the kitchen door as I've worked my way backwards, right? I'm going to step out and I'm going to step over here. Now then, I'm going to outside because I don't want to paint myself in and risk touching anything. So we'll now finish off the bed post on the outside. As I say, I'm speeding it all up because it's for demonstration purposes. And I can now paint the inside to see a marker. See those that not there marker. Right, that's fine. I'll do the same underneath because I'm going to do the whole thing now. Right? And let's do it along the top. Okay. Now you always make sure you take unload the brush so you can lift off any surface that may have run at the corners or on the edges. Right? I'm going to turn along to here. And now I'm going to do the outside as I move backwards. So at no point am I going to be touching or sticking to the varnish. 